Well, it's no secret that Twitter is trying to get more people to tweet these days, but it's also trying to attract more advertisers to increase revenue. And to do that, it has to give brands what they want, and they want information about you. So Twitter is trying to figure out who you are and what you like based on things like your browsing history. And it uses that information to create your profile, which you can now look at and update. And with so much personal data out there already, you would think that they would know uh, all there is to know about you. But as Eric Chemi shows us tonight, that's not always the case. They think I'm single and a single parent. I think I'm retired. <laughs> Number of children, one, got that That's wrong. That's wrong. Four. A big city mom, corporate mom, female head of household. This is hilarious. Are you a big city mom? Uh, no. Are you a trendy mom? I am not <laughs> a trendy <laughs> mom. What's interesting here price. is they don't know that you're a mom. They don't. I'm a corporate man? It's really ridiculous. Baby products, definitely not. Definitely not Birkenstocks. Not Birkenstocks. Okay, ready, I do buy Ben and Jerry's. Ready, what, I love me some Cherry Garcia. What about Granola like, bars, that's me. I'm a bit of a gadget geek. They think you're an affluent baby boomer who's a senior who speaks Spanish. They think he is a male head of household. Yeah, they are. think you are a wife. I don't think you're a senior. I possibly. NASCAR super fans, that's us. Wait, really? No. Are you healthy and fit? I don't think so. <laughs> do you own a GMC? No. Do you own a Volkswagen? No. Do you own a Toyota? No. Are you an auto parts buyer? No. No. <laughs> I don't even own a car. Retail category is standard retail. That's true. Very boring. I'm Look at how car. many auto things. Are you, are you in the market for a car? He's always looking for cars. Okay, they think you're a fall fashionista. Do they really? They're out of their <laughs> minds. <laughs> They're wrong. But I need Good oral care. That one's really disturbing. <laughs> I would consider myself a very good brusher and flosser. I would agree with that, Landon. <laughs> Eric Chemi joins us right now here at the New York Stock Exchange, and they thought I was a millennial that buys a lot of milk and eggs, but uh, you know they got part of that right. Part of it. Wow. Would they? How'd they get it so wrong? Because this is what happens with big data. It's what you're doing with your credit cards, what browser sites you're looking at, what's on your mobile apps, so they can figure out really obvious things. And some of it was right. Like if you got a particular brand of jeans last week, they can get that. Yeah. But then they're trying to infer the rest of it. I see. And you, know, you put all these equations together and it doesn't necessarily work out the best, right, as we're seeing that. Yeah, but what's the upside for Twitter here? I mean, why give us access to all, although it was highly entertaining, but why give us right. access to, to <laughs> all of those, that data? So it's a good point. So uh, when we talked to the company, their statement said, look, we're leading the industry in privacy. We want users to be able to see how we're using their data. They can get out of certain categories if they don't like it. They can just simply opt out of the whole thing altogether. So in that sense, they are being an industry leader. The other real upside for them, though, is they're hoping that users are going to do the work for them by saying, look, like in Bill's case, I'm not a millennial, but maybe I do want to get ads about eggs and milk. So if I can check off one thing but keep checked on another box. So they're hoping that, especially the younger uh, people out there that don't mind the privacy issues, that they'll actually help right. Twitter sell them better. How long have they been doing this? And how much do they get right? So they get a good amount right. In our informal estimates, it's about a quarter to a third is right. So, you know, two thirds to three quarters wrong. They've been tracking you all this time. The only thing that's new is now you can see how they've tracked you. They've just opened up these settings a couple weeks ago, but the tracking's been happening for years. Nothing about bourbon, and that just didn't make any sense. <laughs> they missed a lot of the important stuff about you. Yes, they did. Yeah. Eric Chimmy, great you story. Got it, Thanks.